Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Okay, so today I have a lot of errands to run. I kind of got done a little bit. I actually dressed up better than I normally do. Normally I'm just like in a big oversized t-shirt and baggy sweat shorts, but I'm wearing like a bodysuit and yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to get done up today. I did a little bit of makeup, but yeah, today I have errands to run. I need to get a car wash. I've been wanting to get a car wash for over a week now. I need to go to Costco. I need to buy food. I don't have any of my essentials. I need to buy like meat. I need to buy um, basically everything, fruits, vegetables. Um, so Costco, we're going to do that today. And then I need to work a little bit when I get back. But I think those are my two main like errands I need to do today is like, I need to get food, I need to wash my car. I'm checking my to-do list. I make a to-do list every single night before I go to bed. And I write down everything I wanna do the next day just so it can help my mind relax at night because me with anxiety, I get anxious over everything. And if I don't have a set plan for my day the next day, I go to bed just mind is running for hours and I can't fall asleep. So um, I made my Costco list last night. I wrote down what i need to do today let me put my camera down my arm hurts oh i need to mail poshmark packages yeah i need to do that okay so i need to actually go print out the labels now pack those up my other to-do list stuff is just like chores i need to put away my laundry i folded it last night but it needs to be put away i cleaned like crazy yesterday yesterday did i vlog no i didn't um cleaned like crazy yesterday so i just need to um Finish that and yeah, that's gonna be my day. So, okay, I need to get going now before the post office closes. Oh, it's only one, they don't close till five. I really hate how the post office closes like at five. There's a lot of times I cannot go to the post office to mail my packages until later in the evening. And like for people that work till five, like how are they supposed to go to the post office? I guess on their lunch break. When I used to work at my nine to five and I had to go to the post office to mail packages and stuff, that would always stress me out because I could never leave work. They open at nine. Like my job was literally nine to five. So I think what I used to do is I would just go on Saturday mornings cause they're open Saturdays till 12. So anyway, I'm ranting about the post office right now for I don't know what reason. Um, I'm gonna get going. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'll check in with you guys later. You guys, I just found these in store a few nights ago. I've heard before that Starbucks made Nespresso pods but I just didn't know where to buy them cause they're not available online as far as I know and I could never find them in stores, but I was just randomly browsing through the coffee section of Harris Teeter, which is where I got it, and I found it, and I was blown away. So I picked up a couple of them. I got the Pike Place Roast. This is a 7.77 ounce cup, and then I also got the Blonde Espresso Roast, and this is just one shot, so the pods are smaller. I've tried both already, and I like the taste of this. I actually like the taste of both of them, and they both seem strong. They both seem to have woken me up, but I drank this one this morning and I really like it. So I'm gonna have to go back and get maybe another one, but these were expensive. This one was like just for eight, was $10.99. I believe that's almost the same price as a sleeve at Nespresso, but the sleeves at Nespresso come with 10 pods. So these might be a little bit more expensive, but I mean, it makes sense because it's Starbucks. So I drank that this morning. Absolutely love that. So I would recommend checking out Harris Teeter. I think Harris Teeter is only um, on the East Coast. I don't think it's all over the country, but I would just say check out your local grocery store in the coffee section or even Target. I've seen people um, find them at Target before. I don't know if my Target has it. I've never checked at my Target, but... Yeah, check your Target or grocery store. I showed these in my previous vlog. I got these from Target. These Ray probiotic supplements. I've been taking these every morning. You take these on an empty stomach before you eat. And I just needed a daily prebiotic supplement. And then I've also been drinking this Deep Bloat Aid. Um, not every morning, because the box I got only came with six sticks. So I'm just only drinking it when I feel like I need it. And I don't want to be bloated today. So I'm going to drink this. You just add it to a cup of water and you drink it. So I'm gonna drink that and then take these supplements and then I'll make a quick breakfast and then head out. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? How was your trip? It was good. Anto's currently on a business trip in Vegas. I really wanted to go with him. We were trying to get him a plus one, but it didn't happen.
scent of the day. This has been my go-to lately. I showed this in a few vlogs before. My Abbott Crescent Beach perfume. Got this from Sephora. It is the best summer scent I have smelled so far. It smells like the beach, obviously. Does anyone do that after they spray perfume? They just go like, like immerse yourself in the fragrance. I feel like it's been a while since I've shown you guys my bedroom. I made a few changes um, and I plan on making a lot more changes. Um, so I wanted to buy a new art print for the back of the store. This one, I just feel like is so mediocre. I want to buy like a new poster, um, probably from H&M because that's where I got this one or maybe from like Society6. That's like one of my favorite places to get prints and frames or Decenio is another place I like. So I'm going to update that. And I think the biggest change I made, which I know is so like not exciting, but I used to have a like furry rug here and I got rid of it because I just felt like it made the space seem smaller. And ever since I got rid of it, it just opened up the like space next to my bed. So I love it. And why is my computer on the floor? Let me just not put that there. And um, I plan on updating my nightstand a little bit. I just feel like I don't have enough space for all my stuff. I have like a lot of cluttered stuff. I also need to like update or not update, like reorganize my. Um, oh, there's my inhaler. I was looking for this. This is my steroid inhaler I've been using since I got COVID. <laughs> but anyway, I'm meaning to like go through all my book and sell some of them or not sell some of them, donate some of them and like just kind of clean out that so that I can declutter this, declutter this up here, put the stuff that's like necessary that I use up here and here. So I'm gonna do that maybe today or maybe another day, I don't know, um, but I need to figure out an organizational thing for my nightstand. Oh, also, oh my God, you guys, I, oh God, I lost these glasses like a year ago. I haven't seen these in over a year. These were my favorite glasses, my Burberry glasses. These are from Glasses USA. They're such a beautiful nude color, and I love the shape of the frame. It's like a cat eye. So yeah, I was so, so sad when I lost them, and I was cleaning my closet out the other day, which, okay, so let me just show you guys what my room and closet looks like because I cleaned so much yesterday. I didn't vlog it. I wish I did, but I'm so proud of myself when I clean. Um, it was a while because I was sick, and I just didn't have the motivation to clean for like over a month so I finally organized I got rid of a lot of skincare I'm also doing a skincare giveaway of unused products don't worry um, soon on Instagram so follow me on Instagram and my closet just finally looks so much better I had clothes all over the floor and it's just so much better and so yeah I was cleaning out like these shelves and these were for some reason like behind these boxes I don't even know how the heck it got like that, but I also like rearranged like my bags, the boxes I have here. Um, not not really much my closet. I did that in a vlog like before, um, I think like a few days ago. So I'm just proud of myself for finally cleaning after the rough June I had. Oh my god, yes! Look at these glasses. It's giving. I'll link these in the description. Um, I need to go find them, but they're from glassesusa.com. I need to go find the link. Um, but hopefully they're still available. Okay, I am ready to go. I'm feeling great today. Let's get going. Hi, can I get a medium cold brew with oat milk? Yeah, and also can I get two packets of sweet and low in it? And then can I also get the uh, the egg white and veggie bites? Thank you. Sorry, what was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was talking to me. He's probably talking to his coworker. Yeah, I already had coffee, but we're having coffee again at Dunkin'. I literally never come here, but it's right next to the car wash that I always go to. So it's like my tradition before I get a car wash to stop by here first so I can have my coffee and enjoy myself while the, my car is rolling through the car wash. And I was going to make breakfast at home, but I opened my fridge and there was nothing in there. I was going to make avocado toast, but my avocados were actually rotten and I ran out of bread so um, I just got some breakfast here they have egg bites here or they call them omelet bites are those new because I feel like I've never seen them here before those are like their take on the Starbucks egg bites I love the Starbucks egg bites so I got the um, egg white and veggie one I'm really hopefully they're good thank you you too you. I will eat my breakfast while I'm in the car wash and my drink is medium cold brew with oat milk and sweet and low. Okay, I need to switch to my regular glasses because I cannot see in this dark car wash. And we're in neutral, now I can eat. 
Okay, let's see how good these omelet bites are. Sorry if it's noisy. Look at these little omelet bites. They look cute. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Mm. Mm -mm. That's good. I'll save the other one for later because I'm about to get out of here. It is hot AF today, and that was literally a workout. Lifting all these things in my car and pushing that heavy cart around. Okay, so let me do a haul really quick because a lot of the things I got are frozen and need to be in the fridge, and they were sitting in my hot car, so we're gonna make this quick. All right, so I got all of my essentials. I needed some more butter. I love their baked chicken, like $5 for this whole thing, so I got this. We'll eat that for dinner tonight. Also, another favorite is the salmon with basil, pesto, butter. I might cook that tomorrow night for dinner. And then I love these organic everything but the bagel chips. I like to dip these in like dips, hummus, um, and just put like chicken salad or whatever on top. And yeah, these are my favorite breads. It's 40 calories, low carb, all that good stuff. And then we got bananas, lemons. Oh, I love these light um, Babel, or not Babel, Laughing Cow cheeses. I think I'll eat that with the bagel chips for like a little snack. And then we got some veggies, my baby spinach for my um, smoothies, and then romaine hearts. And then I got some chicken seasoning and pineapple, mango. These probiotic drinks, I love. My family has been drinking these for years. Live active cultures, fat and gluten free, good source of vitamin C and D. And yeah, it's just a good probiotic. So I got that. And then, oh yeah, I found these Chobani yogurts. I've never seen these before. These are less sugar, and these flavors look so good. Raspberry, wild blueberry, Madagascar vanilla, and cinnamon. That sounds amazing. And that one is monetary, monetary, monetary strawberry, and they're pretty colors. So yeah, I just needed to get new yogurt, and that sounded amazing. And then we got some frozen things. Their steamed dumplings are my absolute favorite. It comes with six trays, and... The sauce it comes with is also amazing so good and you put these in the microwave and it steams in the in the tray when you put it in the microwave it's so good they taste very fresh when you warm them up and then i also love these i usually get these at target but i saw that they had like a huge pack comes with 20 of them and it's spinach egg white frittatas and i like to throw these in the microwave and eat with like turkey bacon for a quick um light breakfast 70 calories for one of these and let's see, we also got some mango. And then this is another new thing that I saw, or new to me, I don't know if it's new to Costco, but these organic acai bowls. And it comes with six of them. They're frozen. You can either defrost it, like let it sit out for um, like an hour, and then it'll defrost, or you can put it in the microwave. But I am obsessed with acai bowls, so hopefully the frozen ones will taste good. And we also got some snacks. I got these protein bars. I've never tried this, but they looked promising. Only one gram of sugar and 15 grams of protein, 150 calories for each. These flavors sound really good too, so maybe we'll have one today. And then I also got some Celsius. I know these are a popular drink. I don't really drink these that much, but I feel like I should just give it a try because I know they're good for like giving you energy. I know people like to drink these before working out, and it says it has essential energy, accelerates metabolism, burns body fat. I don't know how accurate that is, but figured I'd try it out. It comes with these three flavors. So yeah, I'll drink that before I work out. And then let's see what else. Oh, I also got some briefs. Calvin Klein, these are the only underwear brand I really like. I've tried so many brands of underwears and Calvin Klein is the best. And three of these were $12. Also stocked up on my toothpaste, Crest 3D White. Let's see what else. I think that's all. Oh, I also got my favorite, Sparkling Water LaCroix, um, comes with those flavors. And also stocked up on my meats, my chickens, and my turkeys. I have to cut this right now and, and uh, freeze them. I always separate them and store them in their own separate bags so that when they freeze, they don't stick together. So, And lastly, needed to get more toilet paper. Also got Pirate's Booty. They're individually 
bagged and they're only 70 calories for each so I thought that would be a nice light snack and then Clorox wipes I needed to get more came with these five and that is all I got from Costco recently just got these chin masks from Amazon. I've gotten these once before a few years ago. I can't remember if I ever tried it. I think I got it and then I gave it to my mom and never actually tried one. So I was on Amazon the other day browsing because you know Prime Day is coming up so I was trying to see like what the upcoming sales were and I don't know if this, oh this actually was on sale. I think it was, I don't remember how much it was off but it was definitely on sale. So I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to try it. So I picked this up. It just got delivered today. So we're gonna put one on now and try it out. You have to leave it on for 30 minutes. So um, I figured I'll leave it on while I like get stuff done around the house. Cleanse your face with warm water. Align the top patch, top side of the patch with your chin. It's just like a mask. Like, like it has like loops that you can put it around your ear. All right, let me get my hair out of the way wash my face I do have makeup on so I think I'm just gonna take all my makeup off okay we are cleansed now to put it on remove the protective film before usage apply cooling gel onto skin gently stretch mask two to three times before applying so I have to stretch it out one two three I don't want to break it so you put it on like this that little like curved side up oh it's tight i don't know if i should have stretched it out more if it's supposed to be tight i look like i just got like plastic surgery all right i guess that's it so i'm gonna time myself 30 minutes and supposedly it's supposed to help tighten and define your jawline eliminate double chin and saggy skin so we will see how I'm sure you're gonna have to like do this multiple times to see results and it just won't show results right away after the first try. Let me know in the comments if you've tried these specific masks before and if you've seen results. And I can also link this in my description if you are interested in trying it out too. So I'll give you guys an update in 30 minutes. Actually, I have some unboxings I wanted to show you guys, so maybe we'll do that. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind my appearance right now, but I do have a lot more boxes to open. I feel like I have boxes in every single vlog, so hopefully you guys don't mind unboxings. So actually, I just ate a little bit of lunch. It has been 30 minutes now, and I'm going to take the mask off now, and we're going to see if my chin looks, I don't know, any different. Wait a minute. Wait, it kind of does, I feel it look a little bit more like defined than it usually does at least. Wow. Is that just me? Do you guys see a difference? I'm gonna have to go look in the mirror later, but like right now when I'm looking in my camera's rear 
viewfinder. Um, I don't know, it looks a little bit more defined than normally. Ooh, I like this. Okay, love it. So yes, I got some packages. I need to open, the majority of these are PR packages, but I also did get some clothes from a couple stores, even though I know I said I would stop shopping. Okay, this is from Emily Corden. And this, I believe, is a set of their lip balms. It's their classic lip balms. Comes with three of them. We got Cafe 12. We got a French pear. And we got, this must be a French word. I can't speak French. Canale? I want to open the French pear one. That sounds delicious. Here's the packaging. Very cute. And like minimal, it smells good. This is the French pear one. Maybe I'll try this out. Ooh, oh my, God. whoa. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be like a hard consistency, but it's super like, not gooey, but like really soft. This kind of reminds me of like the Laneige lip oil treatment masks. Oh my God, this is amazing. Holy crap, that is so soft so moisturizing on the lips i love that wow this is an amazing product thank you so much for sending these i really love this consistency this next package is from dermalogica and ooh, a claw clip i'm actually wearing one right now i don't think you, i showed you guys but that's the one i got from walmart and this one is a super cute blue one oh so cute for summer. My claw clip collection is growing tremendously this summer. And the product in here is the Daily Milk Foliant. It's a calming oat-based pow powder exfoliant. Oat milk, huh? That's interesting. Okay, the next package is from this brand, May Maylie's. I checked their products on their website. I was able to choose like what products I wanted to try out. And I was very intrigued. I got four different things. I got the... Be Tight Lift and Firm Booty Mask. Basically all the products I got are like body products to help like firm and smooth and tighten. And then I also got the B Foxy Inner Thigh Firming Cream. And then I also got the B Flex Lift and Firm Arm Cream. And then lastly, the B Flat Firming Belly Cream. So I'm gonna try all these things out. Let me know in the comments if you've tried these products and if you like them. Um, I can give you guys an update maybe in like a week or two. I'm gonna try to use these products religiously and see if I see any difference. And then we have one from T3. And then I actually hit T3 up myself. I like reached out to them first. I know they work with influencers. So I actually reached out to them wanting to try their straightener and they never hit me back up. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go buy it. Then I did go buy the straightener, but then they reached out to me like half a year later. They have a sale going on. So I was able to pick up this T3 Edge heated smoothing and styling brush. I wanted to try something other than my Revlon hairbrush because that thing is so damaging to your hair. It really just fries and dries your hair out. So I wanted to try something else. Here is what the brush looks like. So again, I'm gonna definitely try this out um, and I can give you guys an update if you want one as well. Okay, the last PR package I have is from Dove. Dove is really coming out with a lot of new uh, products, a lot of like um, bath and body products. And I really do love all their products, including their shampoos and hair care items. I actually used to work with them. Um, I used to do like paid sponsorships with them. Now I'm just on their PR list. Um, but I have loved every single product that I've tried from them. Oh my gosh, what is in here? Whoa! <gasps> Oh my god, they included my favorite. Oh my god, wait a minute. Okay, sorry guys. This package is like so dope. No way! Okay, so here is what it looks like when you open it. There's some goodies right there on top. There's a cute little waffle robe. I love waffle robes. And I was freaking out because they included one of my favorite Dove products, the exfoliating body polish, which I literally just ran out of. So, oh my god, I love this one and I love this scent too. It's the crushed macadamia and rice milk scent. And then I also freaked out because I saw this little mug in here that has my name on it. How cute is that? I freaked out again because they included a candle from Homesick. I've never owned a candle from this company before, but I've always wanted to. This one is Evening Unwind. I think the theme of this box is anti-stress, yeah, because their new product 
is the anti-stress beauty bar, which is this. I think it's just a um, just a soap, but it has oat milk and it moisturizes too. So that's the anti-stress bar, and then the anti-stress body wash is this. So those I believe are the two new products. Um, okay, but let's smell this candle though, because this is called Evening Unwind. This is gonna be my new candle I put in my bathtub when I take my bath. So we can unwind and relax. Love the packaging. I also love how they come in these like beer can glasses. Oh, that smells really good. Those are all the PR packages that I have to show you guys. I am very grateful for the opportunity to receive these packages. And like I said, I'm gonna do a big giveaway on my Instagram soon because I get like a lot of PR packages. I get a lot of like products and stuff that just build up. I do give away a lot to like my, my mom especially. I give like pretty much everything to my mom. I love giving her stuff. Um, my friends too. So like I try to like give stuff away that I'm not using. Like I don't just keep everything that I get. I know I get a lot of stuff, but you know, I will give it away to people and I definitely want to give it away to you guys. So I'm definitely going to do one this month. I know I keep talking about it. So follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm going to be doing the giveaway. So I have two more packages. These are things that I purchased myself. I really wanted to get like a knit pink dress. That's this color to wear with an oversized blazer. So I picked this one up. It's a racer back knit ribbed dress, mini dress. I was just looking for a dress that's this color for the summertime. I also have been looking for a slip skirt, a like black slip skirt. I think it's such a good basic essential that you can wear in the summertime now, also in the fall time. So I got this one, it's a midi length. And this one is um, called Hourglass. So it's meant for people that have a more like smaller waist and it's supposed to be bigger around the hips because a lot of the slip skirts I've tried in the past are kind of just like pencil, like straight, but I am curvier in my butt area and my thigh area. So I wanted something that would fit me well. I also got this white sundress. I've been wanting a white sundress for so long. I feel like I didn't really do much shopping for the summertime. I did a lot of shopping before I went to Miami and I literally just bought vacation clothes, but I didn't buy any, any like everyday going out summer clothes. So that's kind of what I did with these um, packages. So wanting a white sundress for so long and it's a long maxi dress and it's like patterned, so cute. I got pants. These are some like tan kind of oversized baggy pants to wear with basically anything. My essentials that I live by are like tank tops like this, bodysuits like this, oversized blazers, baggy pants like this, and jeans. So I try to collect them in like every type of color and, and style just because that's really the only type of thing I wear now. We also got a pair of jeans. Um, I wanted an oversized fit and they're like a straight leg, light wash. Yeah, we definitely gotta try that on. Hopefully that fits. That's all that I got from ASOS. Next package is from this online shop called Naked. N-A slash K-D. This is actually my first time buying from them, but I've known about them for years. But yeah, it's my first time ordering from them. So first thing I got are some shoes. I love the like style of them. Very 90s, I think. And I liked how the heel wasn't too, too tall. I don't really have any heels like this. So I thought these would be a nice essential shoe to wear like going out or for dressing up in the summer and also in the fall. So it's also lace up and it feels really padded. Like it feels like it would be really comfortable. So hopefully they are. I'm gonna be honest. I placed this order on Saturday night after I had a couple glasses of wine and that's always very dangerous for me because I end up spending more than I usually would. So um, that's why this haul is gonna be a big haul. I got this vest, oversized vest. I'm very into vests. Um, in the summertime and this will also be really cute in the fall but it's just like a big vest I believe i got the pants to match with it yes i did so yes same color as the vest got it for a nice little matching set the reason i ordered from this store is because i have been looking 
for an oversized black blazer for the longest time. And I know I have said in the past that the best place to go for oversized blazers is the thrift shop and the men's section, and that's still true. But every time I go there, I, there are no black ones. They're either like charcoal or like, like a wool gray color. And the ones that are black are just either too big or just such an ugly design and something I wouldn't wanna wear. So I did my research online and I looked at so many places and I saw this one. Here it is, just your typical black blazer. I'm gonna have to try it on to show you guys how the fit is. I've been looking for a black lace top that didn't look like cheap. I thought this one looked so cute. Obviously I'm gonna wear a bra. I'll probably wear a black bra underneath so that it's not see-through, but I thought this would be cute with like some jeans and the oversized blazer. This is something I would not have bought if I didn't have those two glasses of wine. Instantly, the first thing that just came to my mind right now is Xenon. Does anyone remember Xenon? Xenon, the girl of the 21st century Disney Channel. I feel like this is something they would totally wear. Very 2000s, oh my gosh. I don't know how these are gonna fit. They are cute, I like those. One last thing, another oversized blazer. So this is a two-toned oversized blazer and I love the beige. And I thought that was just so unique and different than anything I have. That's it, that's all I got. Can I just show you guys what the aftermath of an unboxing looks like? This is the part that I hate the most. Okay, so it just got so cloudy literally like 30 seconds ago. Um, so I'm gonna do this quickly. I like filming in natural light rather than like my actual um, house lights cause it just gives off like a yellow hue. Ooh, I hate that, okay, so. Quickly, um, oh, I guess this one's not bad. Okay, so I'm trying everything on in random order. I'm not going by store. Um, but here are the jeans from ASOS. They fit perfectly. I'm really shocked that they fit so good. Um, so yeah, these are size 10. They are like oversized on the bottom and they fit absolutely perfectly. And then this is the oversized blazer from Naked. Love it. This is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something big and long here's the other blazer that color block blazer this one isn't as oversized as the black one and the corset top so so cute fits perfectly as well it has a lot of stretch to it here it is with the oversized blazer this is exactly the look i was picturing even these jeans look good with it this right here is an outfit i love it oh my god you guys the slip skirt it's perfect. And the waistband is stretchy and it definitely has a lot of space in the butt and thigh area. And I just think it's so flattering. The pants fit really well too. They are just the right amount of baggy. They're really comfortable too, like they feel so soft. So now the vest and pants set. Yeah, I think I like this a lot too. I picture wearing this to like a nice summer brunch or like a nice um, dinner. Um, definitely a really cute dressy summer outfit and you can open these up these unbutton if you want to wear like a um bralette or a tank top underneath here's the really long maxi sundress so i actually had a size down normally i'm size eight in dresses but this is size six and as you can see it's still like pretty big but i think it's like a good perfect size i found the most perfect shoes for this dress look at these like clogs i think it looks so cute with it these are from Lulu's, got them a while ago, but this is kind of the look I was thinking of. Lastly, the pink dress. I am obsessed. I really like how thick the like neckline is and then the sides here. I wanted to see what the dress would look like with the color block blazer. Yeah, definitely very obsessed. So the only thing that didn't fit were the metallic pants. But other than that, everything else fit perfectly and I bought a lot of things that I have been looking for for a long time, so um, yeah, I will link everything that I tried on in my description. I just got a very random craving for potato salad. So I'm gonna make some. I had all the ingredients in my fridge, and I think potato salad was probably the very first dish I ever learned how to make. My grandma taught me when I was a little girl, and I remember we like bonded over it, and I was just so happy that I like learned how to make something to eat and it's so easy to make. So I have my potatoes. I don't have like actual potatoes. These are just like the peavy ones. I'm gonna just boil them and then slice them in half. Potatoes or potatoes, whatever, it'll work. Um, and then I have eggs. I'm gonna boil the eggs too. Throw that in there with mayonnaise, relish, a little bit of mustard. I'm also gonna slice up some celery, mix it all together. 
salt, pepper, and a little bit of paprika, and I think that's it. I'm gonna do this by memory. I haven't made this, honestly, probably since I was a little kid. Um, since I was like maybe 10 or 11, I haven't made this, so I'm excited. So my potato salad turned out. I put it in the fridge for a few hours and now I'm having some dinner. The rotisserie chicken I got from Costco today, potato salad, and I made some sweet potato fries. Probably the most random dinner combination I've made in a while. Oh my gosh, Aunt Flo just came to town. Totally forgot all about her. I had to check the cal the date like i didn't know what date it was today and when i saw it i was like oh i'm watching the simpsons i've been watching the simpsons the past like couple days i was on disney plus and i was just like trying to find something to watch i never really watched this show but growing up when i was like a kid my dad watched this show like all the time so i'm very familiar with the simpsons and now i'm just like watching all the episodes i guess so random my binge shows are just so random all the time catfish was like my previous one, Hotel Health with uh, Gordon Ramsay was me and Anto. We were both binging that. These days, I'm just so busy that I don't have time to like sit down and pay attention to a show. I just want something light that I can watch while I do other stuff like the cooking and cleaning and um, like doing things around the house. I just want like TV on in the background, not really paying attention. So that's kind of what it is with Simpsons, but it is funny. So, okay guys, I'm gonna call it a night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next one.